We're coming into a very famous church now in Arundel and it's called St Nicholas's. And the reason why it's famous is because of a photograph that was taken there, I believe, I want to say the 60s, but it may have been earlier, uh, of a ghost that they haven't actually been able to, to debunk. Uh, I shall put a picture up when I get home and obviously edit the video. Uh, very interesting, lovely church, quiet, doing a bit of work here at the moment. I think maybe some of the gravestones have become a little unstable. Trees are looking a bit overgrown. And the clock is very interesting because it's always on midday or midnight, it never changes. They've mended it, they've wound it up, it stays at 12 o'clock. Let's go in. Was it in the 1960s that photograph or was it earlier of the ghost? Uh, I think. I thought it was the 70s. Oh, was it? Okay, I know it was, it was black and white. I know they didn't have colour. So. Might have been before that. Yeah, I, I know I keep stuck in my head that it's the 40s, but possibly not. I shall find out when I get home. Ooh, lots of work being done. It's a very old font. And scaffolding. Mm. And the photograph, if I remember correctly, it's taken. Let's go through here. Too many bags again. Squeeze my way around the scaffolding. Oh. It was taken about here. And the spectre was meant to be a, a nun or a lady in white. She was about hmm. let's walk around the scaffold. About here. Very interesting. Very interesting. I'll let you decide when I post a picture up. I don't know very much about churches. I come to churches a lot because I like the architecture. Um, I'm not religious. Well, I do believe it is good to have a faith of some some sort, no matter what you choose. It's entirely up to you. Um, it's good to follow some sort of faith, give you something to believe in. That's my backpack. There we go. Beautiful church. But then again, we're going into the Arundel Cathedral next, so then you will be flabbergasted. This is the chapel belongs to Arundel Castle and it's separated into two because Catholic and Church of England it's plexiglass, oh, plexiglass separating long story but if you read my blog I'll tell you all about it I'll put a link in the Descriptions at the bottom of the video. Known as the Fitz Allen Chapel. And you can only access it now via the castle, whereas you used to be able to access it through this church. Do you think they're all different? 
the faces on the top there. Do you think they're all different yes. dukes of Norfolk? Yes, they are, yeah. Yeah, yeah. As far as I've, from what I've read, anyway. Let's see if I can pinpoint one. There we go. Because obviously it's, it's owned by the Duchy of Norfolk, so... Oh, but then again, there's a chair up there, so possibly not. And that's where they hold all their private services um, when the castle isn't open to the public. Oh, here we go, Fitzalan. There we go. I do have a blog, so uh, I will add it to the link. Interesting. Templar Cross. Although I'm not sure about uh, what history there is for the Templar in here. I need to look that one up. Although on many occasions I have done the past life regression a couple of times and they've said that I am, I wanted to say a regurgitated Templar, but that would be wrong, wouldn't it? I was a Templar in a past life, so I do have an affinity with the Templars for some strange reason. I, I can't explain it. I don't know whether I was one in a past life or not. But I have been told probably three times now that that's the case, so maybe there is some truth in living more than once. Who knows? We don't know. Sometimes I do find that image incredibly scary. Then again, maybe it's not Templar, maybe it's some sort of marker pointing to something. I think I've read that somewhere, I'm not sure. Again, something I will look up. I do believe it may be in one of my blogs. Um, in this blog, actually, explaining what they are. It was such a long time ago that I came here, I couldn't, I can't quite remember. But, uh, yeah, I'll look it up when I get home. Lovely church. And haunted. Of course. And nice to see the uh, remembrance for all the soldiers that died in the First and Second World War and all the other wars since, unfortunately. Uh, I do wish we didn't have war. Too many people die. And for what? There, but not there. Hmm. Very poignant. <laughs> 